When it comes to Animal Crossing, consistency is the key to success. With that in mind, we put together a list of 11 things you should do every day in Animal Crossing New Horizons. So without further ado, let's dig in. Hit all the rocks. As strange as this one sounds, it's important to do every day. Hitting rocks will get you clay, stone, iron nuggets, gold nuggets, and of course, money. In order to get the most resources out of any given rock, you need to hit it multiple times in quick succession. This sounds easy, but every time you hit a rock, you'll get knocked back slightly. In order to prevent this, we recommend digging some holes behind your character with a shovel before you start smacking it. If done correctly, every square adjacent to the rock should be occupied by either money or crafting materials. Dig up fossils. Every day, four fossils will randomly spawn on your island. Equip your shovel and look for cracks in the ground. Once you've dug up four, head to the museum and assess the fossils. I recommend donating them to Blathers, but if you're in a pinch, you can sell them for a decent price to the Nooklings. Check the Nook Stop Machine. Inside Resident Services, you will find an ATM. You'll want to check this machine every day for a few reasons. First, you can order from a rotating selection of items, including one KK Slider song per day. Trust me, they're worth it. Second, every day you check the Nook Stop machine, you will get some miles and you'll get more for every consecutive day you check in. It does cap out at 300 after seven days though, so keep that in mind. Talk to all your villagers. You should be chatting with your villagers anyway, but if you needed a more concrete reason to do so, you will get Nook Miles for saying hello to all your villagers each day. There's also a good chance they will give you something, so it's a win-win. We recommend visiting villagers while they're in their homes too, since they'll give you a DIY recipe if they're at the crafting bench. Check the store. Unfortunately, you won't have an actual store right off the bat, but Timmy will sell unique items every day at the resident services tent, so make sure to speak to him when you get the chance. Once the store is built, Timmy and Tommy will tell you about hot items. Basically, every day, Timmy and Tommy will give you double the selling price for a specific item. If the hot item is something you can craft easily, it might be worth your time to craft a few and sell to the Nooklings for some extra bells. Check the beach. Quite a few things can wash up on your shores each day. You'll find seashells throughout the day that you can sell or use in some DIY recipes. You might also find a message in the bottle, and since every bottle comes with a DIY recipe, it's in your best interest to comb the beach every day. Occasionally though, more than just shells or bottles will wash up. If you spot Gulliver on the shore, keep talking to him until he wakes up. Once he's up, he'll ask you to find his communicator. If you manage to find all five pieces, he will mail you a gift the next day. Check for visitors. Speaking of Gulliver, he's not the only visitor that may show up on your island unannounced. There are a handful of special visitors like Celeste, Wisp, Mabel, Sahara, and others who might show up on any given day. I don't want to spoil what they do, but you should definitely keep a lookout for them. Glowing spots. As you're exploring the island, you may come across a glowing spot in the ground. Digging on these spots will net you 1,000 bells, but more importantly, it will leave a glowing hole behind. If you'd like, you can bury a sack of money, and in a few days, it will sprout into a money tree. Be careful though, if it's anything like older games, they aren't always guaranteed to bloom. We also don't recommend burying any more than 30,000 bells. Pick and sell fruit. If you're looking for some easy money, pick and sell your fruit. The fruit native to your island will sell for 100 bells, coconuts will sell for 250, and anything else for 500. If you come across fruit from another island, we recommend planting it instead of selling it right away so you can get your own non-native fruit trees. Hit trees. You will need a lot of wood for crafting and your island can only produce a finite amount each day. With a flimsy or stone axe, hit your trees each day. This should net you a good amount of softwood, hardwood, and regular wood without cutting down the whole tree. While you're at it, you might as well shake trees too. Occasionally, they'll drop furniture or money, or, if you're unlucky, a wasp's nest. However, they do sell for 2,500 bells a piece, so you might want to get your net ready. 
visit unexplored islands. Technically, you can visit unexplored islands as much as you want so long as you have the miles to purchase tickets. However, we recommend going at least once a day because some of these islands can have some awesome rewards. For example, we found an island infested with tarantulas and one covered with money rocks. And that's it for me. If you want to know what we thought of Animal Crossing New Horizons, be sure to check out our review in progress. And if you're just beginning, be sure to check out our day one guide. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you.